I know what you're thinking. This is either a typo or a rerun. And uh, either way, I don't think I'm interested. Well, you might not be, but you're right. This is the same thing. This is a Keychron Q11. It's the same 75% split mechanical keyboard that I have had in the past. Uh, just opened it a few weeks ago and the number nine key stopped working. I'm not sure why. I switched the switch, I switched the switch again, took it apart, tried a few different things, and I couldn't get it to work. Uh, the folks at Keychron said they couldn't help me because it was purchased from another retailer, so I just took it to Micro Center today, and they just gave me a brand new one. They kept the old one, and they gave me a brand new one. So here we go. I'm just gonna open it up for you again and share the experience with y'all. Um, it's gonna be the same. Nothing's gonna change. It's not gonna be a different keyboard in here. It's not gonna have different colors or anything. It's gonna be the same thing. So, I don't know why you're watching. If you saw the first one, then there's no reason to stay here. There's no reason to, there's no reason to keep watching if you've already watched the first one. Uh, the only thing that's changed is I might be a little bit better at making videos. I don't know, I don't know. Tell me, let me know. Um, but yeah, once again, this is the Q11. It's the same one. You can see these details here. It's a 75% layout. It's split right down the middle. Works with both Mac and Windows. It is QMK and VIA compatible, so we can make some different um, layers here. Uh, the stabilizer, stabilizers are screw-in, and they are lubed. And I actually ordered some other stabilizers that I'm going to swap out at one point. And there is some foam that makes it sound absorbing. There's also a layer of foam at the bottom of it. I don't know if that's what they're talking about here, but we'll see. I'm going to take it apart for real later. But there we go. There's the box. Keychron Q11. I'm going to open it that way to cut down on the glare here. Um, foam. Brand new foam. Um, here is our quick start guide. It gives us a quick layout of the keyboard um, and then it lets us know some special parts of it. Uh, we can do the different layers. There are different ways to adjust the backlight even more than what it shows here that I've learned since I was using it. Uh, but there's a, there's a lot to be had with this keyboard. It's definitely special. Uh, be careful with your switches. Make sure that the pins aren't bent. And I saw someone yesterday was talking about manuals for keyboards and I know there's some of them that right, this might be one of those that actually does need a manual because there's so many different things that you can do with it but for the most part you shouldn't really need a manual for a keyboard it should just be like something like this right it's the quick quick start guide um, we have the connecting USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the two pieces uh, here is the fancy keychron USB-C to USB-C cable with the C to A adapter. Uh, I've been using this double sleeved USB-C cable from Keychron lately, so I actually had not even opened that one. Um, it comes with this awful switch puller, screwdriver, and um, keycap puller. And of course, we've got those extra keys here for Windows if I want to set it up with that, but I am a Mac user. Here comes the keyboard. You don't need to waste too much time here because we already did this. And again, if you're watching this again, tell me why you're watching this again. But cool, I mean, thanks for coming by. Uh, here is the keyboard part one. And the keyboard part two. Um, what am I gonna need and what am I not gonna need? I'm not gonna need any of these pieces. I'm not gonna use this cord and I'm not gonna use this adapter. Uh, I will use that connector and then I can put everything else back in here. Okay, 
Mafia man. Take this off. All right. Let's see if everything works. Um, I really hope so because this is the last one that they had in stock at Micro Center. Uh, wait. Let's see if there's any sound associated with this peel today. Here. You heard it more than you saw it. That's how I operate. There's the keyboard. Plug it in, plug it in. I don't need this anymore. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the Keychron Q11 wrist rest. I just got this. It's going to be part of my full Keychron Q11 review, but I thought I'd share it with you today. Um, let's see if this is working. It is working. Take this off so you can hear everything. Wow, 82 words a minute. I should have recorded that one. That was great. I only made that one or two mistakes there. Feeling good, feeling the flow. 82 words a minute. Um, of the words history, just two mistakes. Huh. Feel good, feel good. Uh, screenshot. Okay, um, what do we need to do, guys? I want to put the Hacker Mint keycaps back on here because that's that's what I had decided to use. But um, I'm gonna pop off these keycaps. Now, if it isn't obvious already, switching keycaps is the easiest thing you can do to personalize your board. Uh, there's so many options out there. Everyone's got their own tastes. I, I don't have a problem with the keycaps that come with this. I think they're really kind of cool and retro, and um, I like how the uh, font is uh, lowercase. Uh, I mean, I think that there's really a lot to like. I mean, the font on these are uppercase, but like here, I think that's really cool how the lowercase font is on these words, right? I think that that's cool. And the difference here between the uppercase and the lowercase, also cool. The different colors here, cool. It just kind of looks like a, a typewriter you would see in like a NORAD facility in the movie War Games or something like that, right? It just has a really cool look to it, I think. Um, 
But I also just I think I just prefer these. I can't believe I put that upside down here. Um, I really like the different look that it gives to the keyboard here. Um, I wish the keycaps didn't get so shiny so fast because you'll see as I'm putting these on that that's happened in just a, a short amount of time. Um, but um, I also want to keep this keyboard in really good shape just for the secondary market. I, I don't know that I'm going to keep this forever and I think that there's a lot of options when it comes to uh, reselling a really great keyboard like this. So I want to keep the original keycaps in really good shape and um, that's another reason why I'm switching these out. Um, I did have some clear keycaps on the my first K11. <laughs> really, really, really cool uh, Akko brand keycaps. Uh, there is a typing test you'll be able to see. I'll link it and um, Here's just one of those keycaps. Uh, this is just like the, the feature keycap, but like it's just like a clear, not clear, it's like a milky white, um, but with the RGB on this board, the way that it shines through these clear keycaps is just, it's really something, it's just awesome. Uh, I, I wasn't crazy about RGB until I got this board and saw what it can do because there's just so many different combinations. Uh, I did put some little silicone O-rings in some of these keys because I wanted to see what it would do as far as sound dampening, and it did a lot. I'm actually working on a video for mods, and that'll be a part of that video. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. Um, and if you have any anything you'd like to see as far as modifications on this or any of my other keyboards, let me know. Um, I will be happy to take some requests. Uh, I know that I'm going to switch out the red switches with the glorious panda switches that I've got, uh, but I'm not in a hurry to do that at this point. Uh, I'll probably do that for the video. Uh, I also have some lube that I ordered and I'm going to lube these switches a little bit more and see if I can get rid of some of that rattle in there. Uh, I also ordered some different switches from Owl Lab. Uh, my buddy over at Keybound suggested them and I picked them up. So uh, I'm going to try those out when they come in. Uh, I have a lot more O-rings on order, different weights and um, Gonna try and see what those do to the keyboard as well. Uh, I have a whole list of different. Oh yeah, I got some spacebar foam. So I'm gonna try out some spacebar foam and see what that does. Uh, the only thing is, the kit that I ordered is specific for a 6.25U spacebar, which obviously this is not. So I ordered a second kit that I'll be able to cut up a little bit and try out and see if that changes some things. But I also got some different things like this adhesive cork sheet. It's fairly thin. I um, mean, it's self-adhesive. I might try and cut some of this up and put it in the keys. Um, I've got this pop dot tape too, different thicknesses of this tape. I'm going to try and see how these affect the keys as well, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself there. Uh, that would be something to look out for. I will obviously post it and let all of my subscribers know, hey, there's a new video here. So if you are interested in seeing anything else that I push out regarding this Q11, then please subscribe. Um, I'm not going to make you do it. Uh, but like everyone always says, it doesn't cost anything. It's free to subscribe and it just makes sure that you see uh, announcements for all of the new videos that I'll post w whenever they get posted. Um, something about this set, it comes with some accent keys in this green color. Um, and what I decided to do is use every single one of the green color keys that it included. It did have alternates for all of them. These would be gray, this was black, 
Um, I'll show you, we'll see, we'll get into it here. But um, I just kind of wanted to use all of these minty green ones that were out there instead of just having one or two. Um, I did just have the entry key for a little bit there and then yeah, I just decided to put them all on. So um, let me know if you think you would like it better if it was just a couple of the accent keys or if you'd like it better if there weren't any accent keys. I ordered the Q00, Q00, I believe it is, uh, the numpad. Uh, should come on Thursday next week. Um, and I got the bare bones version, so I'll be doing a build. Um, my first, I mean, I guess I did build this Red Dragon keyboard. I got this at Micro Center. And, um, it was on clearance, someone had returned it, and it's like, yep, I'll build that real quick. So I got that bare bones and built that, my first, my first bare bones build, and then haven't posted that video yet. I've been preoccupied with some other stuff, but I will post that when it is ready. Okay, got that out of the way, move this. Let's uh, reconnect everything here. Unboxing volume two, version two of the Keychron Q11. Uh, this is my favorite board, I love it. I'm really happy to share this time with you. I will, again, have a full review coming for you in the next week or two. Uh, it won't be long before I can get this pushed out to everybody, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that I could share this experience with you all and uh, thank you to Micro Center for just being so awesome about, hey, yeah, you got a problem with this keyboard? Here, here's a new one. There you go. So thanks, Micro Center. You guys are awesome. And thanks to everybody who watched all the way to this point in the video. And uh, we got a prize for you. And that prize is this video right here. And if you like me, subscribe.